Hello. Happy 2022. Happy New Year. If you celebrated holidays, I hope they were good. Looking forward to another year here in SL and particularly on the web. Um, on that note, if anyone hasn't seen it yet, please um, do read. Uh, we put a lot of work into uh, creating that blog post. Um, just kind of an end of the year wrap up, but uh, importantly for the conversation that I'd like to have today, um, we shared a little bit about our roadmap for 2022 as well. Uh, so pretty pleased with sugar on top. If you haven't, read it. Um, we're pretty, pretty happy with it and pretty excited. Aside from that, um, this meeting should go more or less the same way it normally does. Uh, if you are new, uh, I like to make a few announcements at the top uh, and then uh, spend the bulk of the time answering questions and just kind of having a round table if possible. Um, uh, anybody's questions are welcome. Uh, when we get to that point, it does not have to be just a couple of voices. Uh, if there is anything that I can answer, I'll try and be straightforward about that. Um, but if I can, uh, I will. Um, for those of you that are new, particularly since this is a new year, uh, I do see a few new faces. I am the product manager for the web team. There are a number of other people who are associated with the web team that are also here. Um, so we should be able to answer any of your web related questions, uh, specifically when with regard to web, we're talking about uh, largely things like the marketplace, uh, profiles, events, that kind of stuff. Cool. Great. Always love talking to an empty room. Cool. Thank you, Pantera. There we go. See, someone's listening to me. I need to know that my voice works too. Uh, so let's dive in. Let's talk about the, um, the things that are we've shared that are on the roadmap. Um, the link I just shared there, um, if you take a peek at that. Um, a couple of things to specifically call out uh, that are going to occupy a large amount of the next few months and, and maybe... Um, maybe many of the next few months. Uh, Premium Plus is coming back. We are, in fact, guaranteed to release it at some point this year. Um, I have some vague ability to talk about what Premium Plus will actually be and what it might look like. So, you know, queue up your questions now. But Inara, I want you to know up front that I can't give exact details. I am so sorry. Until they are set in stone, I cannot release them. Um, the reason why, um, for the most part is not because I don't like you, but because I don't want to make promises that it turns out programmatically are, we are unable to keep well, uh, and until we start actually coding it, we won't know for sure, but we have a lot of ambitions, um, and it's things along the lines of, I don't know, mainland tier, um, you know, the, the free tier bonus that you get right now as a premium user, you get 1024. Uh, square meters of free tier. Premium Plus will probably get more. Um, marketplace listing limits, that might be on the table, might be relevant to your interests. Um, upload fees, those might be on the table. A couple other things, maybe a lot of other things. Um, we're confident that we're going to be able to put together a compelling package that'll be worth the extra money. Um, it will cost more, of course. It is plus. Uh, so your standard premium um, premium offering at the moment costs about $10 a month. Uh, that will not change, and none of, the, uh, none of the benefits that you get from that will change. We're not going to make premium go away. So if you're currently a happy premium user, don't worry. We will not, not change anything that you're happy with. Uh, but if there's something that you'd like even more of, Hey, pay a little bit more money and we might be able to give it to you. 
Um, so that's what's on the on kind of the most I can say about that. But feel free to ask questions. If I can't answer it, I will just tell you that I can't. Um, but maybe I can. Who knows? Um, other things that we're looking into uh, for, let's say, the next few quarters, um, you know, quarter one, quarter two, uh, definitely looking into search engine improvements. Um, so last quarter, uh, at the end of Q3 and Q4, uh, we rolled out the actual facelift um, to in-world search, uh, so search.sl.com. The just kind of making it look uh, more along the lines and function more along the lines of the rest of our um, our web properties. And uh, that's a bit of a preview of where we're going in terms of unified look uh, over the next the next few months. Um, but uh, the next step to that is actually getting under the hood and changing the way the actual search and instance works. So as I've said before, uh, this is kind of the nitty gritty uh, and actually making search more relevant. Uh, we have heard you. We know that this is a thing. It frustrates us too. Um, we want to make sure that it actually works the way we expect it to work and has all of the um, the neat little features that we've all as good internet residents have come to expect from a robust and um, well-rounded search engine. So um, on that note, uh, we have hired some experts in the field uh, to come uh, assist us with this. So there may be some new faces around the, around the water cooler. Um, but yeah, we've gone out and um, we're doing what we can to make sure that that's going to be top notch. Um, the other big ticket item is uh, marketplace variants. I know a lot of you are marketplace owners. Um, you are sellers, creators. Uh, and buyers. And um, variance has been something that we've been talking about and talking about and talking about and talking about and wanting and wanting and wanting and wanting. And we finally, finally, finally have the ability to actually do it. Um, so quick preview on that. This first quarter, uh, we're going to be working on the back end uh, of that, making sure that we can support infrastructurally uh, all of the things that um, we would like to, you know, all of the functionality that variants will include. And then once we have that in place, we can start building on it and putting out actually front facing features. So a little sneak preview, start looking for new features in kind of the latter half of the first half of the year, if that makes sense. Late spring, early summer. And I think that's it. I think that's that's all of me talking. Let me go through and see what I missed in chat. Uh, Lucy, I am not taking suggestions about what the pricing is going to be, um, but it will cost more than eleven ninety nine. What did you mean? Um, it's not, I mean, it's, so yeah, let me, let me come up with the best way to put this. What we would like to include in premium plus and what the levels should be is finalized. What we will actually be able to, to deliver may not be because, you know, once the, the rubber meets the road, um, the actual pricing itself uh, also has not been finalized for the same reason. So depending on what we're able to include, that will change how much we will charge for the package. So we're not going to just say like, hey, it's going to cost this much, regardless of how much um, cool stuff we can add in there. Uh, we want to make sure that the pricing reflects the, uh, the extra functionality. So until we know exactly what the extra functionality is going to be, we can't actually give a specific price. We have a price target. Um, but for the same reason as before, I can't 
I can't talk about that because it would just be making promises that I may not be able to keep. At the moment, there is just one level, so it'll be basic, premium, and premium plus. Um, but we're building in the functionality to have as potentially multiple levels. Um, but at the moment, there's no, yep, no a la carte at the moment. Maybe later. <laughs> I mean, you know, future stuff. We'll see how we go. Uh, right now, we want to. So the I, I can talk a little bit about what this entails. So right now, and for as long as Second Life has ever been in service, there it's a binary. Um, it's a binary proposition in terms of what type of account you are. You are either basic or you are premium, uh, which means that there is just a, a true false flag um, that's kind of baked into pretty much every single application and system everywhere across the board that just says, is premium true or false? Uh, if premium, then this. If not, then that. Um, in order to create something that allows us to have a further step of premium, we have to take all of those binary true false flags and turn them into multiple choice answers, right? Uh, is premium, is premium plus, is, pre is basic, is premium super plus, is premium marketplace plus, is pre right? Once we've solved it for three, we've essentially solved it for 50. Um, but solving it for three is the first step. Uh, so we will um, be able to potentially, once we've solved it for Premium Plus, be able to start talking about, okay, maybe a more, a more specialized niche offering that could include a la carte. Um, but no promises. We don't know for sure. Um, we kinda, we're kind of playing around and we're experimenting here. Uh, Lucy... <laughs> No, um, we were actually hoping to get it done before Uplift. Um, the reason why we kind of had to stop uh, working on it before was because Uplift turned out to be a more major undertaking uh, than we had anticipated, and the deadline there was a non-negotiable. Uh, our colo was, in fact, closing down, whether we were out of it or not. Um, so we put Premium Plus on the back burner and put all of our focus into Uplift. We are now going back to Premium Plus. Uh, Petunia, so that's what I was talking about before. We don't know exactly what's going to go into Premium Plus. Uh, we know what we would like to go into it. Um, and I mentioned earlier some potential categories that those might be, uh, but I'm not prepared at this time to give you specific numbers. And because I'm not prepared to give you specific numbers, that means I can't give you pricing either, because we won't know exactly how to price it until we know exactly what features it will come with. Uh, ooh, so Lucy, that's the, the magic question. So here I'm going to be super cagey and just tell you that I've already said as much as I can about what we would like to go into it. Um, yeah, I know. If I tell you what I'd like to go into it and then I don't promise it, particularly if it's something that you really, really want or that you're really, really upset about or you're really, really happy about or whatever, and then it doesn't show up, you know, no good can come of. Uh, the answer to your question is yes. That's to Lucy. Well, good news.
Proc, you are not wrong. Um, we are we're having to do a lot of theological debates with our with our infrastructure and hardware at the moment. Non-binary is so much harder. <laughs> so much harder. The level of complexity is not just one more. It's like potentially a infinite amount more. Essence more groups is something that is always a really big ask. Uh, we get lots of feature requests for that. Uh, Lucy, that's correct. It will not just be one or two dollars more. Well, hopefully, We're, that 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 wouldn't move the needle that much for us, um, and probably not for you either. Proc, you can totally ask me questions about search. What questions would you like to ask? Well, that I don't know. That's that just sounds like something that's going to need actual invest uh, investigation. I can't, as the product manager, really tell you a whole lot about that. I have no idea why you don't show up on the first page. <laughs> I wish I was too young to remember the yellow pages. <laughs> You mean the true, al the true alphabetical list? Or even, yeah, like potentially grouped by type uh, since we're talking about the yellow pages. Oh, yeah, true. Yellow pages, right. Petunia, uh, that question I'll go ahead and answer right now. Basically, it's a non-answer. Unfortunately, this is web-focused. Um, I don't have the answer to that, and unfortunately, none of the developers that are here with me would either. System avatars are uh, view with type things. Uh, I do believe, and Alexa, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe there is a viewer web uh, user group as well. Uh, there, there is a con stuff. yeah. There's a content creators group. Yeah. So Petunia, seek that out. That might be the place to ask that question. I think it's a good question. I just there's no way I would know the answer to that. Thanks, Bandera. Um, can I answer those in opposite order, Proc? Um, the regions um, are in the search results because we want search to be as universal as possible. So yes, while you can find that on the world map uh, as well as in search, we, we like and as opposed to or. Um, so they will remain in there. Good news is that you can also filter those out uh, of your results now. Um, and as we go forward, we'll be able to make the filters more, more universal and more usable. Uh, so that's the kind of the type of thing that I 
am talking about when I say that we're looking to add more functionality to search. Um, so filters, booleans, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then as far as the first one goes, that's a harder question. I really have no idea why it's returning. Um, thousands of entries, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but we're going to start working on relevance, so hopefully that'll at least make the entries that it is returning more relevant to the thing that you're actually searching for. Uh, and if that is, I'm searching for one specific business and it does exist, maybe that will just come up. Yeah, we'll be playing with the ranking too, um, for sure. I mean, I personally, I think ranking falls right in with relevancy. Um, you know, the more we know about what your expected and desired result is from a given search term, the better we can rank what we deliver going forward. So, um, a large part of the effort that we're we're kind of going through is going to be putting in metrics so that we can start measuring that stuff and professionally coming up with uh, ways to change the algorithm, which would include the rankings uh, to deliver better results. Prak, I do not go to book clubs in the world. Um, but yeah, I do shop and I go to clubs. I use search. Not for book clubs. Uh, Lucy, I can't say yes or no on that. Um, maybe. Uh, it'll kind of depend. Uh, like I said, we haven't gotten the the experts in-house yet. That seems like a reasonable thing to uh, include in there, though, from my very non-expert opinion. Um, Prank, if you're just asking me if search returns good results right now, I think I've already, I'm already on record as saying, no, I don't think it does. We want to fix that. I don't really have a whole lot more to say about that, other than you are correct. We agree. Search doesn't work well. We want to fix it. Is that... Did, did I eat enough crow there for you? Is that as on, on the record as you need? Oh, well, I can tell you for a fact that nobody did anything on purpose. Um, so there's no malignancy. There's no specific desire to go out there and break search and change the, the algorithm. Uh, if it changed and it used to be one way and it is now another and that that happened a year ago, uh, I don't know what made that happen. Uh, I can tell you for a fact that nobody did it on purpose. So there is no good answer to why because there was no why.
Uh, if it is not immediately obvious, uh, announcements are done. Question and answer specific or explicitly begun. Please feel free. All questions welcome. How will you know when last is, Lucy? Quick, someone start working on crickets. Uh, Anna, no, probably I missed the question. Let me scroll up unless Mars wants to repost it. Should SL have been mentioned in the CNBC article? Yes. We should be mentioned in every article. Along with ponies and unicorns. And hippos. Cookies too. I agree, Prakfi. We're doing it better than everybody else. No arguments from me. I mean, so I will engage. Uh, I, I, I think you're just kind of vetching a bit here, but um, I, I think we should be talked about more, um, to be quite honest. Uh, you know, Second Life, jokes aside, is right now the most successful and longest running and first uh, actual version of the metaverse in existence, period, full stop. Um, it is... To me personally, a bit ridiculous that we don't at least get mentioned in any article about this. Um, and uh, to be quite honest, anybody that's planning on moving into this space, Mark Zuckerberg and on down, should be taking a long, hard look at what we do. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that we do everything right, but we do a lot of things right. Uh, Brooke, good question. Um, generally, there's nothing wrong with uh, creating a ticket. Uh, if it's not something that you can fix through redelivery, um, then yes, they should be working through support. I would not assume that their money will just come back to them, uh, particularly if it's been, you know, a significant amount of time. If it's only been a minute or two, then who knows? 
systems can be weird, but if it's been a few days. Panther, I am reading up to get the first part of that question. Uh, okay, so it was about search. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like a bit of a broken record. I can't tell you exactly how it's going to be changed to be function better because I don't actually know that. Uh, we have um, gone out and specifically... Uh, hired expertise to tell us how to make it better um, and help us, you know, uh, do that. So um, I don't actually know now what that will entail. I, I hope to know more later on down the road. And when I do, and when we start actually talking about implementing new features and changing the algorithm out, I, I promise you I will tell you how that works. Uh, the best I can tell you now is that the, the results I'm hoping to get is extremely vague and it, it essentially boils down to more relevant, more usable. Um, but I acknowledge that that's essentially nonsense talk uh, until we can actually measure what that means. Yeah, no problem. No, no trouble at all. Um, I, I want to make sure that, that I can give as much clarity as possible here. Uh, this is something we're super excited about. It's something we're putting a lot of resources behind. Um, so I want to be as transparent uh, with you as I can. Unfortunately, you know, like, have to acknowledge my own limitations. I actually don't know the answer to that. That's why we went out and hired people who do. Ooh, Petunia, great question. Uh, Shop and Hop open for this year's Valentine's? I don't know the answer to that, but I really hope so. Um, that's, a, that's a great question for Patch's team. Um, and uh, they're, they're working on that stuff. Uh, someone might actually know the answer to that here in this room. I, I don't personally, um, but I suspect it is. Yeah, see, Brock for the win. There you go. Uh, Proc Fabius Group does cover the marketplace. You can ask me any marketplace related questions. Uh, the problem with the blog is that we can't find past entries easily. Mm -hmm. That could be a problem, I suppose. Um, if you have a suggestion on how to make that better, please feel free to submit a feature request. We'll triage it appropriately.
So uh, Brooke was kind of saying earlier about how the marketplace seems to have problems when it's really busy. And that is one of the things that is on my personal wish list roadmap. I, I am hoping that we are going to be able to do some work to make marketplace performance better. Call Eileen and everybody. Welcome to the discussion. Uh, Mars, everything is cloud-based now. You are currently on a cloud-hosted region. Talking to me over cloud-based voice. Yes, absolutely scalable. Um, I mean, the, the main limiter is no longer the ability to add more, it's the ability to afford more. And yes, the reviews did get changed and changed back. I don't know if they got changed again differently. The current status is that only the seller can leave a comment on a review. The other changes were rolled back. And speaking with my product manager hat on, that is how I want it. Which why, Prof? Because they were rolled back because everybody was unhappy about them. I am having so much trouble parsing that question, Prokofi. Why box out the non-buyers with a comment that it's often about undoing the incentive? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I, I mean, the, the, the easiest, most straightforward way is that, that I can explain what we're looking at here. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait for Prokofi to explain. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay, so why why did we not also allow people who have bought the item in world to review, um, to comment on on a review? Is that the question? Yeah, comment on review. Yeah. If that is the question, and I want to make sure that. What I've said back to you is the question you want answered. I do have an answer for that. Yes. Okay. Um, so the answer is exactly like you said, because we actually don't have the ability on the marketplace to know that you bought that item in world. So the marketplace can't say, you know, oh, this is a, a verified buyer uh, because it didn't go through the marketplace. It's as simple as that. It wasn't a, oh, you know, I hate in-world buyers, so I'm not going to let them make, you know, comment on reviews.
why block any commenter? Because I only want somebody commenting on reviews that is actually, you know, verified as someone who should be commenting on reviews, um, which is to say either the seller or a buyer. You don't want me just commenting on any review about something I know nothing about. This is a, a scenario of engineering for the lowest common denominator. That's correct. Uh, I'm engineering to keep out bad people. That means that sometimes I lose people that might be good. Exactly. Spidey has the reason why we want to keep out bad actors. So in the effort to programmatically keep out bad actors, it means that yes, some potentially good actors will also be kept out. And I don't really have a, a good response to that other than to say that is just the truth. Um, that happens across every industry, everywhere, all the time. Uh, it also happened to us. Uh, marketplace Q&A. Um, so we had mentioned that in the last, uh, last one of these in December, that I was curious what everybody thought about it. Uh, it's not on a roadmap because I haven't heard what people think about it yet. What do you think about it? Useful? Not useful? Wanted? Not wanted? And Lucy, you mean like Amazon's thing where can you answer a question about this product, right? Well, I'm not, right? So um, that's the... It, it, my vision is unset. My mine was an open question. What what would you like that to look like? Um, and assuming um, we're all on board with what Kali just said, that's that's what I'm talking about. So basically, the ability for a prospective buyer, or um, you know, or even a buyer, or basically anyone to post a, an open question on a marketplace listing and potentially get answers, either from the seller or potentially from verified buyers uh, as well. But again, I have no vision set in stone here. This is literally market research. How would you like something like that to work, if at all? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm totally open to someone saying like, no, that's a terrible idea and here's why. Lucy, that's why I gave you a whole month to think about it. 
Who can remember things over the holidays, though? Not me, that's for sure. Um, so, okay, let's, let's make this official. Next month, what I would like to talk about here in this group is Marketplace Q&A. Uh, is this something you would like? Is this something you think is a terrible idea? Why and how? For both. Come with answers. You all have homework. Mars, I agree. But, but, since Lucy's not ready, we'll wait a month. We can all blame Lucy. We'll talk about it then. Ooh, Proc, hey, good. Good heads up on the events. Um, we have events work on our uh, kind of soft roadmap at the moment. And in there, in my head, is also the ability to make event searching and uh, the, the results that return much better. I personally really struggle with our current events page. Uh, I don't, I will be candid and say I don't like it. I want it to work better. I want it to do a lot of things. I have plans for it. Ooh, Kali reminded me that we gave you homework last time about sub-brands. Ah, who did their homework? Who wants to talk about sub-brands? See, I can't remember things from before the break either. No, place pages was a couple of times ago, Lucy. Don't you, don't you roll me. wasn't last meeting. We talked about it a while ago. It was one of the first meetings that I ran of this since I've been back was, hey, y'all, tell me what we should do about place pages. And then we talked about it the next time. I remember. Uh, Petunia, if I understand your, correctly, your, your question correctly, we have no plans at this time to raise the prices on premium membership, uh, including with Premium Plus. Premium Plus will be a separate offering that will indeed be more than normal premium, but we will not change the price of premium. Uh, ads at Telehubs is beyond my ken. This is web related only. That's an in world question. Ah, good question, Lucy. Um, for 2FA, 
and text and email options still on the uh, the roadmap, but um, later on down the road. So look for stuff like that in the latter half of the year. Not soon. Tm. Uh, clockwork, that's one of the things that we need to, that's one of the challenges that we need to sort out. Uh, it's a good question. It's a very good question. Uh, and I don't have a good answer for it yet. Um, that's one of those things that I was mentioning before that we won't really know what's possible and what's, um, what uh, is reasonable and rational uh, until we start digging into it. Um, that is on the nose exactly stuff like that how does it work with downgrading back and what does that affect and how hard is it to maintain and or change around and all the things like i say the moment you move from binary to anything more than two uh suddenly everything gets infinitely more complex uh the downgrade process is one of those things great question Wish I had a better answer for you, but I will. Brooke, also a good question. Um, same thing I said before. I can't tell you exactly. When I when I know for sure what those will be, um, I will tell you. I promise. And I won't just tell you. I'll tell everybody. Uh, I can say that the stipend amount is definitely on the table uh, for things that, you know, more stipends for Premium Plus. I mean, I'm happy to tell you what we're, what we're looking at, the types of things that we're looking at. I just can't tell you exactly what it's going to be. So yes, we would like there to be more stipends. We would like there to be more um, uh, more free tier. We would like there to be lower upload fees. We would like there to be lower fees on other things, um, maybe things like name changes. Un unknown. Um, we'll, we'll, we're kind of playing with it. I just can't tell you exactly what those higher or lower values will be. Free is potentially one of the options, Brooke. Could be free. Could just be less. Less is part of free. Or free is part of less, I guess. Our search places 30 Linden ads, sources, or sinks. Depends on which direction you're looking at. From us, it's a sink. So if you're looking at it from my direction, that's a sink. Yeah. Uh, sources for linen dollars are uh, actively buying them and stipends largely. Uh, almost everything else that costs you linen dollars, we treat that as a sink. Uh, I'm with Kali. Yeah, if you've got suggestions for what Premium Plus should entail, uh, throw them at us. Put them in Jira. Nothing set in stone at the moment. Thanks. Um, proc, that's a, uh, I mean, I'm not an accountant. I'm not in our finance department. Uh, so if I tell you that that's kind of a complex question, uh, I hope you understand that I'm not 
I'm not trying to be deliberately cagey here. Um, I actually am not an expert here. I, I think that it essentially counts as revenue down the line, but yeah, it's it's us taking currency out of the system. But since somebody bought that currency, that was revenue for us. So, I mean, I'm not sure that that's going to give you the answer that you want. And um, to be quite honest, it's a little bit beyond the scope of this meeting. Um, certainly, I'm not qualified to give you a good answer about that. But just thinking about it logically, I think that that essentially somewhere down the line counts as revenue for us in some way, but maybe not directly. Um, Mars, uh, with regard to adding things to premium when premium plus is rolled out, that's not off the table. Um, our vision at the moment is not to make any changes to premium. We're pretty happy with our premium offering. Um, we think that it's a good price point for the benefits that are, um, that are offered. Uh, and so we're not, we're not actively kind of thinking too hard about changing what premium means. Um, when when we release premium plus uh, but if you have a particular thing that you think it needs like we're always open to feature requests uh, so please feel free but no uh, at the moment we do not have any plans to change uh, the benefits or pricing of of premium when we roll out premium plus McAfee. That was backhanded, and I don't appreciate it, um, but I'll, I'll answer you straight. Uh, I mean, maybe um, it's possible that free search and places edge uh, could be part of the premium plus offering. Um, that will not be tied directly to if search is still broken. Um, it will be tied to you know, whether we think that that's a good offering for premium plus going forward, uh, what we, it's much like what we do for premium, right? We want that offering to be, to stand on its own, regardless of other things that are going on. So yeah, reduced fees on, on ads could be part of that. Yeah, Mars, I will just reiterate what Alexa said. Um, group, group limits are absolutely on our radar. We get asked about that all the time. We're looking hard at it. But that's also a really good example of one of those things that if I give you a, a definitive yes or no or give you a limit or a number, um, people will latch onto that, and if I can't, then deliver it. World of hurt. Better to simply say, yeah, we're looking into it.
Praka, I will agree and disagree. Uh, that is certainly one of the reasons why people want more groups. Uh, there are many actual reasons that people want more groups, not limited to just merchants. Yeah, I, I think if you polled 10 people about why they think they need more groups, you might get nine different answers. But that would certainly be one of them. I agree. On that note, uh, we are over time. This has actually been a really good uh, discussion this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's bring this energy next time around too. Don't forget your, your homework. Q&A. Marketplace Q&A. Tell me what you think about it. Less rants. Rants from whom? I don't rant. <laughs> I'll leave that amongst the two of you. <laughs> Spidey rants. Not here, I don't. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you all in February. I'm looking forward to it. We've got a lot on our agenda um, as, a, as a web development team um, and as a Second Life team. Please, 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 um, if you haven't, uh, go and read the blog post that I posted earlier, um, that one, um, it's got a lot of good information about what we accomplished last year, what we're proud of, what we still have uh, ready to go this year. Um, and it's not just limited to web, it's across the entire Second Life platform. Um, and, you know, go to the other, other user groups. Uh, go harass my coworkers. They deserve it. I shouldn't be the only one. Cheers. <laughs>